but I think we should be okay with what we have for now. In hindsight, we probably could have picked a better arena. Hello everybody, you can call me Bloody, and welcome back to Spire Knights. Finally, our pet Dracon is on their way to reaching level 100, and that's a great thing, because oftentimes you see players using the backfire barrier in order to get a quick speed boost. Which is something that Bloody can definitely use, and the other abilities are useful as well, but the speed boost is just that worth it. And I'm sure that a lot of other players would agree with that as well. Alright, our first Dracon ultimate. Do we go with the Concussive Fireball for stun chance, or Meteoric Fireball for large radius? Well, any sort of abilities that can offer status effects are always welcome here. Concussive Fireball, it is. And our Dracon now has a horn. Wasn't well, that stunning? We're about halfway there. Soon we'll be able to get that speed boost that you oftentimes see players using. And there we go. Should we go with the Scorch Fire Barrier to collect more Dragon Balls and summon Shenron? Or should we go with the Backfire Barrier for a speed boost? Well, the choice is obvious. Scorch Fire. Huh. Just joking. Backfire Barrier it is. I want that speed boost. Only because speed boosters are very welcome here. And if I'm correct, our Dracon now has some spikes on the back of their head. Still pretty cool though. Alright, we're almost there. Level 99. Yeah. But man, these evil catalysts sure are expensive. Oh, and before I forget, we eventually got Slow Steps 2. Sometime before we reached level 100. What should we go with? Frenzied or Explosive Firestorm? Hmm. On the one hand, I do like the idea of pet effects causing explosions. But on the other hand, power and speed boosts. Why must this game taunt us like this? And would you look at that? Our Dracon now has some detachable claws. Well, isn't that just neat? Anyways, we have a level 100 Dracon now. Let's go and make sure that our Dracon is ready for battle. Let's go head on over to the arcade. Maybe there's something that we can fight with our fully leveled Dracon. And we find an arena. Also, fighting Wolvers with a Magnus style weapon, like the Winter Grave, for example, might not be that great of an idea. Most because of how the Wolvers are moving. But it does seem to do the job, I guess. And they're gone in a flash. Well, that's just how it is, I guess. Now if we wanted to, we could keep leveling up our Dracon in order to get the rest of the perks. But I think we should be okay with what we have for now. In hindsight, we probably could have picked a better arena. Because most of the enemies here can inflict the uh, burning status effect. So we might not be able to set any of the enemies here on fire with Dracon's abilities. Oh well, we'll just have to roll with it for now. As we need to be able to use our Dracon properly, in battle at least. Oh yeah, we demolished them monsters, good. Let's go get our things and speed boost our way out of here. Oh wait, the cooldown is still in effect. Oh man, guess I'll just walk there. Well anyways, our Dracon is ready for battle. And we can get a nice speed boost whenever we need it. Right, our speed boost is ready. Let's bounce. Oh man, that's good. Well, that was fun. Well, Dracon, you might as well take the rest of these power stars, because we probably don't need them, for now at least. You enjoy them, buddy. Great work. Our Dracon is level 100 and is fully heated up. Well, we now have all three of the starter Sparomon fully evolved 
and then fully leveled up. Gengar, Charizard, Gatomon. Yep, the gang's all here. Now that that's happened, what do we do now? Hmm. I think you probably already know where this is going. That's right. We're going to continue the tedious cycle of leveling up more pets. Why is it that we can only craft the pet reskins for Masquerade and Seraphinx, but not Dracon? Do you remember those pumpkin sprouts that we got all the way back in October from the Dark Harvest event? Yeah, well it's time to redeem them. Let's go. Yeah, we got a pet pumpkin now. All right. I've seen a small amount of other players use this type of Master Wraith before. It's neat. Time to release the beast. Pumpkinmon, I choose you. Well, it's time to start the slow journey of feeding our pets to level 100 once again. But first, we need to give our new Masquerade a nickname. Uh, Okay, look, Bloody isn't feeling very creative right now, so we'll just have to settle for the name Pumpkin for the time being. Until Bloody eventually comes up with a more creative name, whenever that happens. And there's our new Masquerade. It sure is going to take a while to level up our new Masquerade to level 100. We'll see you then. And that's all that I have to share with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.